but I can tell you that his badge will be destroyed. It'll be melted down. I'm disgusted. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood is talking about the allegations surrounding one of his deputies that happened Monday near Ridgewood Avenue. Deputy Stephen Corbin was arrested after Daytona Beach police say he was off duty when he held a woman against her will and threatened to arrest her if she didn't engage in a According to the arrest report, Corbin was in his marked patrol car and wearing plain clothes. Detectives also say evidence was found that he assaulted a second victim. He resigned before his arrest. Yeah. Corbin was booked into the Volusia County Jail only hours after we learned about the arrest of a corrections officer at this same jail. He's accused of having sexual relations with an inmate. Investigators say 43 year old Lieutenant Jonathan Harding was arrested yesterday on charges including sexual misconduct and smuggling contraband into a detention facility. He was placed on unpaid leave and appeared before a judge this morning. Chitwood saying both cases ruined the careers of two officers who have each been with the county for more than seven Good years. Good morning and welcome to the Bad Apple Report. It's 7.30 a.m. bright and early right here at home on the range. Can you believe those guys had seven-year careers before all this went down and they did that stuff? Maybe they just had a seven-year itch. But listen, the chief there, he said those two guys threw their careers away. That's what he had to say. He didn't have to say that, wow, those guys have been probably doing that for seven years you know what? Seems a little coincidental that we got two bad apples all in one day. I bet the whole barrel's bad. Yeah, well, the alleged crimes um, supposedly happened on South Ridgewood Avenue. That's where one of the victims was supposedly picked up, then dropped off. She ran down this road and up to a witness who called 911. Um, there's two girls I'm standing here with. They were just picked up by a sheriff and he uh, tried to perform, uh, get them to perform oral, oral sex on them. And this is not going down like this. The caller is talking about 40 year old Stephen Corbin. The former deputy had his first appearance in court Thursday after he allegedly threatened to arrest two women if they did not perform sexual favors. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood said this all happened Monday and Daytona Beach Police arrested him Wednesday. I'm angry, uh, I am disappointed, and I am disgusted is probably an understatement. Corbin is facing several serious charges after investigators say he approached two women while in plain clothes and driving his marked patrol car. One of the accusers claims Corbin had been in the area before picking up prostitutes. What he did is not only a disgrace to his name, it's a disgrace to all law enforcement officers and in particular to this organization. So the one thing I can guarantee you is that his badge will be melted down. No, no one will ever wear a, a tarnished badge in this organization and he tarnished it. Sheriff Chitwood shared Corbin had never received any sort of disciplinary action and he was considered a good worker. What was really concerning from a law enforcement perspective is he was a pretty damn good investigator and was assigned for a while to our major case squad. So he was investigating sexual assaults, homicides, all, all kind of violent crimes. So he Both victims told police they were scared and felt forced to stay because they believed Corbin was acting in his authority as a law enforcement officer. Corbin is now facing several charges, including bribery, false imprisonment and solicitation to commit prostitution. And Corbin is now being held at the Volusia County Jail on a $90,000 bond. Reporting in Daytona Beach, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. Okay, you know who's not going to miss that cop? Other than the sheriff? His hairdresser. That's right. The person he never tips for that Betty Crocker hairdo that he has to get spruced up every five days. Well, I don't guess he's going to be getting it spruced up anytime soon. And neither will this next guy. This 42-year-old Curtis Lamar, he's been arrested. Oh no, he's a corrections officer. More breaking news, Justin Harris Sheriff's Office confirming a corrections officer was fired and arrested for falsifying his timesheets. JPSO says 42-year-old Curtis Lumar faces charges related to theft after being accused of clocking 2,000 false hours, totaling $8,000. Lumar was booked into the Gretna jail and later released on a $50,000 bond. Okay, okay, that was lip bait. You know that guy is going to be out. He's probably already out. He's watching the Bad Apple Report. Let's say hi to him. Hey, Curtis. Welcome to the Bad Apple Report, buddy. Hey, you guys, you know, these heroes, they can't just be heroes 24-7. They got to blow off some steam. And check out what these 
heroes from the NYPD were doing to blow off some steam when they were off duty. Two NYPD officers arraigned in a Bronx courtroom this morning. They're accused of sexually assaulting an intoxicated woman while off duty. CBS News' Natalie Dutrich is in the Bronx with the details for us. Natalie. Well, hi there, Mary. The court appearance was very brief. Both officers pleaded not guilty to multiple counts of criminal sexual offenses. 32-year-old Christian Garcia in a black suit is assigned to Brooklyn courts. 40-year-old Julio Alacantra Santiago in a gray checkered suit. He is stationed at the Manhattan court section. Their attorneys declined to comment. The criminal complaint alleges on July 9th, 2023, the accused were seen on security video leaving a restaurant in the Bronx holding up a woman who appeared heavily intoxicated. The court documents say the alleged victim stated she has no memory of leaving the restaurant. The officers allegedly then drove the woman to an apartment building and carried her inside where she was allegedly sexually assaulted. Court documents say the following day the woman went to the hospital and DNA samples were collected. Now we reached out to the NYPD. A spokesperson says that both of the accused have been suspended without pay. And that's the latest here from the Bronx. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Okay, we have one last hero for the Bad Apple Report this morning. So what is going on with these guys? Is it spring fever? Or I wonder if they're just like this all the time. Has power gone to their head? Well, hair hasn't gone to this guy's head. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. No more of those jokes. Unsealed new search warrants allege new victims in former OCSO deputy case. Rochester, newly unsealed. I can't see anything without my damn glasses. Newly unsealed search warrants filed in Olmstead County District Court show Matthew Adamson, a former Olmstead County Sheriff's deputy, was caught in two separate sex sting operations conducted by the Rochester Police Department. Two separate wellity, wellity, well. He wasn't stung hard enough in the first sting. Adamson's computer and hard drives were found to allegedly contain hundreds uh, of videos and images. We're going to get this bad apple report over with, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Five separate bathrooms. Uh, oh, what? Uh, some of the images contain unverified timestamps between 2015 and 2019 featuring six separate people came, coming in and out of the shower according to the warrant. Ooh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Of those six victims, three appeared to be adult women. The other three are girls between the ages of 10 and 20. The warrant says police have not identified five of the six people in the images of the videos. Well, just ask this goofball. I bet he has a memorized... The warrant also said several screen grabs of female Olmstead County inmates shows the victims in multiple stages of undressing. Those victims have been identified. Federal prosecutors, you know what? These people, they have a higher right over everybody and they know it. They got victims in there. Uh, what are you going to do? Nothing. Well, this guy got busted. What's going to happen to him? I hope something. Federal prosecutors filed a motion for Adamson to be held in prison pre-trial for the federal case. Good. Arguing Adamson's a danger to the community and high risk to reoffend. Damn right. Look at that guy. Judge also added, oh, he was only caught in 2023 and largely by a stroke of law enforcement luck. That's the only way anything ever gets solved is law enforcement luck. The federal document also references an encounter with a 12-year-old girl in the Rochester Park. Adamson is now being held in the Sheburn County Jail. Adamson faces more than 10 charges between his state and federal court cases. He was initially arrested and charged with prostitution. Higher offers agree to hire individual under the age of 14. This guy. Solicitation of a child through electronic communication and engaging in electronic communications relating and describing sexual conduct with a child. This guy. Court documents show on November 1st an online encounter with a detective, detective posing as a 13-year-old girl engaged in a conversation with Adamson where he would buy the girl alcohol in exchange for sex in November 2023. Wow, that's a long time ago, you guys. Then in December, Adamson was charged with eight more counts. So if he's charged with these eight counts, you know there's probably hundreds of counts we don't know about and we'll never know about. So he's charged with eight more counts of the sex crimes, including four counts of possessing child pornography, three counts of observation device in a place 
with expect expectation of privacy and misconduct of public officer while exceeding authority. This guy had authority. Every day of his job, every time he put on that uniform, he exceeded his authority, as do most cops, I'm sorry to say. And that's why we say what we say here on the Bad Apple Report, because we're used to it. All right? And you cops that say you're good cops and you know bad cops, well, that makes you a bad cop if you know bad cops. Well, the newly unsealed warrant for Adamson's state case scheduled to begin in the 26th, Addison will be in a federal court late July for a hearing motion. Hopefully he'll be in jail that whole time. Adamson faces three federal counts of production of an attempted production of child sex material and a count of possession and one count of coercion and enticement. Look at that guy. He looks like, you know what? The wheels are turning in this guy's pea brain and his little lizard brain right there. He's like, how am I going to get out of this? Uh, maybe I'm not going to get out of this. His little pea brain well, he's probably not going to get out of this. I hope he doesn't get out of this. That's it for the Bad Apple Report for the day, you guys. There was a bunch of weirdos on today's show, like every day. Thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. If you're around tonight, we have a great show for It's Too Late. And then if you're not, hey, we'll see you here tomorrow morning, bright and early, 7.30 a.m. for the Bad Apple Report. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.